Hello friends. In this video, let's see the various options available in Visual NES emulator. Let's go. So as we have seen in previous video, this is Visual NES emulator. I hope most of you would have tried this emulator in your own PCs. Let's see the various options available. So here we have the menu bar. Here previously we used to go for file, open and we used to select the game which is required for us to play and so it gets loaded up okay so the close is to close the emulator so we are not going to use that now we have other options like netplay launcher rom info it gives us the info of the rom which we have loaded and so and so we have so many options which there is not much record the next one is recent path so these are the recent games which we have opened before instead of going to open and browsing them up we can just go to recent path and browse the game record and the reason file is the NES emulator which we have opened already I mean the ROM so we can just come here and select if I have to go to Super Mario I can just come to reason file and open my reason file so it just turns up and if I want to go back to that I can click this and I am back the last option is exit if I click this the emulator will get closed so not going to try that now okay in edit we have hardware reset software reset just to reset the hardware software so if you use a hardware reset uh, let's try software reset first so it will reset the emulator which is happening hardware reset in the sense it uh, resets the uh, whole emulator completely pass is to pass the state of the emulator so if i pass it now while playing a game i can pass it and go for a break and come back and resume it so it's a good option here and the other important option here is the load and save usually we, we will play video games but we will not be able to save it using this option we can save it and load back where we left so if we want to play some today and the other things tomorrow you can save it today and continue tomorrow another important benefit of this is you can save it continue if you are uh, out again you can load back and continue so save and load option will be very much helpful in this case we have the replay option record option up and snapshot option and so on and in options you have the option of emulator graphics sound controller joystick shortcut key folder language so many options are available so if you want to set the controller options just you can come here to controller and set the controls as you like so by default this is a default controller set for controller one so we can play multiplayer games also using this so if you want to set the controls for second player we can set it up here so this will help us to configure our own controller if you want to set your joystick that is also possible by using the option as joystick access model and you can set some shortcut keys whatever record we can play this in full screen we can zoom we can do some filters everything is possible here the next thing is tools so like uh, we all know for games we can use some cheat codes so likewise this emulator has some cheat codes i have not used it before but you can explore this option for more uh, information and the next uh, thing is help it's about the emulator so it's just a virtual NES and it shows some email ID and their website. So this is not much helpful. So just to know. So these are the various options available here. Hope these options will be very useful for you to configure your own emulator as you like and as per your uh, record mm, configuration and changes can be made here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel if you like this video. More videos and information on games as well as other platforms are coming soon stay tuned until then Sivakanish signing off bye bye